Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your characters and how they fit into the series? You first. Okay, uh, okay. my character is called Joanne Collins and I am married to Luke Collins who's played by Zachary Levi and I would describe my character as being a vigilante um, on the hunt for revenge or retribution. Something happened to her son and uh, she is a woman scorned but even deeper, um, like a woman hurt. Uh, she lost her son and she wants to find the people who did it. My character, uh, is, his name is Carlos Gutierrez, and he is in the armed services. He was in the army. As a, now he's a vet. Um, uh, I can say he's on a tour. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's, he's on his, on a tour right now, um, and he is uh, going through adversity in his own uh, mental status as far as PTSD, and. Uh, he is presented an opportunity in which he could either change uh, or make a difference in the world or uh, continue to be self deprecating It appears that Carlos is going to wear a costume, which is a hero's first. Can you talk about that? I think it was an that, that's the thing. Also. Can you talk? Oh, about was it? <laughs> yeah. I never know what I can and can't talk because I literally just got the conversation. Don't you say one thing uh, to me right before here. So, uh, yeah, if I can say it, it's incredible. <laughs> I, let's just leave it at that I'm living a childhood dream. Um, you know, I was always a comic fan and I was always, you know, interested in being a super person or whatever and, and making my own way and, uh, and being part of the armed services too, the, in the army. Um, that tackling all those at once. Uh, smile from ear to ear. Yeah. Well, you said the thing about the vengeance thing before. Now, we've seen plenty of pictures of you and Zach with guns. Right, and stuff. yes, yes. And it involves the child. Is it Evo and fault for the child? Is that the um, I, I mean, without going too much into the details, yeah. um, uh, I think my character definitely believes that in some way they are responsible, and that's where she's you know, attributed all of the blame. And I think um, that um, my character also believes that she has a, a calling, uh, like there's some greater you know, need to do something, and it, it is involving hurting egos, I'll tell you that. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's challenging to know what we can say and what we can't sure. say, but, um, uh, but yeah, she, I can say she hunts egos. If you guys see like a red dot on her forehead, just let us know. <laughs> yeah, at any yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dot, quick! Yeah. yeah, which is fun, can I say. You know, I realized, yeah, yeah it's fun to go around with a gun. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Does that create a conflict with you and Zach's character? Um, that's a really uh, good question. There's definitely conflict inside of our relationship yeah. um, because it's called a marriage. <laughs> um, and equally because uh, I, I think a, any marriage or any partnership were put under such a difficult circumstances like losing someone and the amount of pressure causes it and I think as well there's a I'll say there's probably one person who, who wants to do it a little bit more than the other and um, I think with grief people hit different levels at different times and I think that's definitely occurring as well and we have different ways of expressing it yeah, uh, I loved heroes I feel like everyone says that, but it's true, I did, I did. I am slightly addicted to um, human potential and what's possible, and I spend a lot of my time doing meditating and going and doing courses and workshops and everything just to see what, what, where I can go and where I can reach as a human being. And so I am um, very, very invested in any shows that show what's possible in human beings and gets you to think outside of the box. Uh, what I loved about the first series was that it was normal people, and then they discover they have something special inside of them um, I'm like me too oh my god I, I'm I, special too I'm special <laughs> finally someone gets it uh, so I really identified and when I finished running out trying to fly and levitate and stuff like that I sat myself back down and watched the whole season back to back this was all last week yeah. <laughs> I still try to fly every yeah. day one day one day uh, no I, have, I agree with her completely but I'll Although I didn't watch it until a couple months ago, uh, just because uh, when it did come out, I was just drinking a lot in college, man. <laughs> I was having fun and, and partying and whatnot. I was a baseball player doing stupid things. Um, but I love the fact, because I, I believe in the course of change throughout you know, one's life, you know, and that's what this kind of this show embodies, you know, 
you're presented with all these different tasks and these opportunities and depending on which road you take it can you know turn you into this person turn you into that person and I, I love that Brian, we don't know a lot about your powers. Can you talk about that at all? Or? Did you get that? No. Okay. That would be a no. no. Uh, that's all I could say about my uh, power to conceal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really good at being vague. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just. Uh, I, I can't really say too much about the, the old powers thing because everything's in secrecy and apparently Entertainment Weekly is blowing my cover. But. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm just having fun. Yeah. So what was the experience like of doing that Comic Con panel about an hour ago? Ooh. I was looking at my, my I brought my cousin in because I was like, dude, he wasn't gonna come. I was like, dude, you gotta come. I need some family here, man. And uh, my manager's pretty much on my family too. It was. I'm still smiling from it, just thinking about it, man. I was lo looking at you know thousands of heads, and they're like, they're here for us. Okay, cool. Um, it's just a surreal experience. I feel like everybody in the cast has kind of had that feeling too. Like, we are doing something special and it feels special. And we just want to live in it as long as we can. I had um, I'd been to Comic Con before for Twilight, and so I'd been in Hall H before, and I got to witness it. But I, you don't think you're necessarily ever going to go back there. So uh, it was really good to go back there again uh, with something that I'm just as proud of and something as well that is as, as large. Uh, you know a vision and and um, and has such a huge fan base again and um, has you know so much to deliver so uh, I'm really excited it's happened again that's so cool yeah. <laughs> twice <laughs> and they're so excited about it the fans are so excited what? right I tell me about it really I mean the fans are, are so excited they really are and, and just I don't would you agree like the reception that we've got I'm like but you haven't seen anything yet yeah but you haven't seen yeah. me yet but they're still really excited and really happy and and a lot of love and a lot of loyalty that um, I'm I'm thrilled and ter terrified about September 24th yeah oh yeah but no I think I'm more thrilled now that I've seen like clips of it and this is our first time actually seeing something we've done yeah you know going mm -hmm. into the heroes uh, experience outside um, it's just it's amazing to see what the footage looks like and, and how dark it's kind of turned uh, since you know the previous installment so uh, the beauty is in the the darkness I, I feel like in, in the, the gravity yeah. it puts on everybody in, in the scenario I think I'm really excited as well how um, how NBC the um, how NBC, the network, are willing to take risks and that to do such a show that's dark and to do a show that's complex. And I actually think it's more towards cable kind of TV yeah. with some of the elements of it and some of the, the it's not black and it's not white. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be really something that people are going to enjoy. Yeah.